Daytona, the season opening event for the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. We're Trouble down. turn one, head on crash, Mason Mingus pounds the outside retaining wall. John West Townley is in it. Oh, half the field is now being taken out. Townley spins down to the bottom of the racetrack. A number of trucks involved. Sean Corr goes spinning. Parker Kligerman gets pounded. Half a dozen more than that. Maybe eight or 10 or 12 trucks all involved here at the bottom of the racetrack. A vicious lick and a couple of trucks on fire. Minor fires, but still burning here on down on the apron to turn one. All right, Dave, we'll let you catch your breath and kind of recap exactly who all involved as Dave Moody just pointed out a serious crash coming off of turn number two has involved a number of trucks Mike Bagley will also have a report on that end again this our third caution flag coming out on lap number 73 including a former winner here back in 2012 John King just one of the trucks that are involved over there in front of you Dave Ross Chastain's truck is all torn to pieces he kind of stumbles out of the cockpit but appears to be okay. The Brian Eichler truck has come to rest. Brennan Newberry's machine torn to pieces. There are five, make it six trucks still here in front of me, at least that number that have continued on. Parker Kligerman climbs out of his truck as well. He appears to be uh, fine, given a look at what little remains to his race truck. All right, and a number of those trucks trying to limp their way back around the racetrack. Worked over in front of you, Mike. Yeah, I had uh, three trucks, Joe, or, uh, Jeff, that we saw come by. John West Townley was uh, limping down to the bottom of the racetrack. Also, Tyler Reddick had a big door ding on the left side of his uh, Ford F-150. John King got away. He, uh, as well, making his way back to the pit lane in the garage area. Also, Sean Core has come to a halt well out of Dave Moody's sight line down here towards me midway down the back straightaway towards the inside of the racetrack he is immediately climbed from his truck walking towards the ambulance now going back towards his truck surveying some of the damage as the safety crews are on the scene to the Sean Core truck and Sean as he has climbed from his truck under caution for the third time tonight we'll recap it when we come back from Daytona International Speedway this is the Motor Racing Network the voice of NASCAR at least 10 trucks involved in this most recent and our third caution flag of the night. It came out on lap number 73 when Mason Mingus got turned and up the racetrack he went head on into the outside retaining wall. We'll get an update there in just a moment. Involved that we know of 10 trucks, Joe. Parker Kligerman, John West Townley, Ross Chastain, Tyler Reddick, Brian Eichler, John King, You've got Brennan Newberry, Mason Mingus, Joey Coulter, Bubba Wallace, and that list may grow before we're all said and done. Uh, we have a few trucks that have come down pit road. Uh, they're trying to see if they can make repairs on the trucks that were damaged out there. Some have already gone to the garage area. And how's the cleanup coming out there, Dave? Well, it's... Uh it's barely begun, Joe, to tell you the truth. They've got so many trucks up uh, out here in such a severe state of, of disrepair and damage that they're having trouble even getting a line on some of them to pull them out. One truck that's being towed away right now, the Chris Cochran machine, that truck is pretty much garbage from the firewall forward. They continue to work on a number of other trucks out here. Happy to report that Mason Mingus did climb from his machine, walk to the ambulance under his own power. It took him a while for him uh, to gather himself and climb out of the truck, but he appeared to be in pretty good shape as he walked to the ambulance. We'll talk to some of the drivers involved as they make their way out of the care center. Daryl Wallace was one of those involved. He's on pit road in front of Winston Kelly. Yeah, they've got significant damage all the way down the right side of the truck. When he came down pit road, the right front was completely down, the right front tire, and it was just listing all the way down, scraping the front bumper section as he came down pit road. Heavy damage down the right side, the trunk section where would the, uh, the tailgate section would be on your regular passenger truck. They've had to tape that down. They taped around the right rear of the truck, behind the right rear tire, around to the tailgate section. Same thing on the left side. They're pulling sheet metal out on the left front. The damage on the left side, not nearly as bad, but there is left side damage. They've had the bar out to check the toe in on the left side. Now they're doing it on the right side and continuing to work on the right front of that Toyota where the most significant damage is. Chris Fontaine was on pit road. He had a little bit of damage. And now here comes the leaders down pit road.